Oh, what are you doing on the bench there that I definitely did not place you on? <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new YouTube video. I'm actually using the El Grande today. I've brought the El Grande out from the wardrobe. I haven't actually used the El Grande in a, a good couple of months, I don't think, actually, to be fair. And then I'm just using the regular GoPro Hero 11 with the stand up, you know, with the, the, the stand, standard audio, sorry. And yeah, nothing too amazing. So, how does it sound? Hopefully, it sounds okay. You might be able to hear the birds tweeting around. The, the usual location where I am actually filming but I'm actually going to be making a little short short uh, well a little short quick however long it ends up being video for you today talking about the field of view so the GoPro Hero 11 has got a brand new field of view and uh, yeah let's talk about it so one of the biggest things about the Hero 11 is that it's got that new sensor the new aspect ratio of 8 by 7 so it basically is just a perfect square pretty much and it allows you to crop more in editing and stuff like that so if you want more options in editing in post the 8x7 is obviously going to be the one for them editors out there and all that which I've used it a few times and it's actually quite helpful to be fair especially for Instagram, Facebook and it'll be for TikTok if you use that as well. The new field of view is something that doesn't really get, I don't think it's mentioned as much. I mean yeah it gets mentioned a little bit but it doesn't really, there's not really a lot to talk about it to be fair so I don't think it gets mentioned as much but the brand new field of view is what we're going to be talking about here today. So I'm actually current in Linear Plus Horizon Leveling. So it means I'm going to set my selfie stick up a bit more so you can see so if I turn my arm around you can now see that you're upside down and that is the horizon leveling so it's basically like I've got a max lens mod on but just linear not like super view because originally the max lens mod is a super view lens that has horizon leveling so again do you need the max lens mod on that's, a, that's something for maybe a different video. If you want to see something like that, then make sure to drop a thumbs up. However, linear, you know, 11 is quite good. I mean, it means that, again, I can, like I've said, I can move the camera wherever I want. I can have you upside down and the footage will stay the exact same. So yeah, it literally says what it does, which is what you want. So, and now the second view is just linear, which is the same as linear horizon leveling. However, you don't have the horizon leveling. So, you know, if, I tilt you you're gonna see it on the screen quite heavily so maybe you're gonna want to use this for maybe mountain biking maybe or running with someone and you're out on a jog as well and you want to see that that motion in that uh, in the shot as well to really get a feel of what it might be like if you're there but obviously you'll have a more wider view but just like a, a, a more close-up view sort of thing that's maybe somewhere where you want to use it for Nina plus horizon leveling you're gonna want to use that for keeping the horizon level so if again if you're mountain biking and you're not worried about that 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 zoom out shot if you will or if you want more of a zoomed in shot for whatever what you're doing maybe you're filming like your car or you're filming an animal or whatever or a family member's birthday and you want that close up but you don't want that jittery in that shot that's what you're going to be using her uh, lenient horizon leveling floor but i said floor i said floor but not floor. so Let's get on to the next one. Now you're gonna be seeing a lot more in the shot as you've probably just seen. We're now in wide. All this is gonna be recorded in 4K 60 as well. And 10 bit color is on. The white balance is set to uh, uh, 50,000 Kelvin as well. iOS shutter minimum is at 400. The max is, is set at uh, 100, sorry. Sharpness is obviously high. You know, we want that nice sharpness in the in the video. I think it makes it look really nice as well when you're in like trees and plants and if you're in like little woods or whatever, I think it really does come out quite nice with high sharpness. And so wide is gonna be used for, again, you can use it for the head mount, the chest mount, you can use it on your dogs, the harness and stuff like that. You know, if you're, if you somehow attached your GoPro to a ball or a basketball or a rugby ball, you might wanna use wide to get that nice reliable angle shot that you're gonna see completely all the time I think it's quite a, a balanced as well and it also is used for vlogging loads of people use it for vlogging as well wide so again that's gonna be something you're gonna want to use wide for maybe let me know what you'd use it for so now we're gonna start getting into a, a really a really big field of view this is super view this is GoPro's standard longest view if you like that people use again they use it for water sports they use it for sports biking hiking walking running jogging skiing mountain climbing whatever you know i mean i've used hyper view at family birthday parties and stuff like that as well 
So we're going to get into the sun here, which is going to be quite nice. 10 bit colour is on as well, by the way. How does that look? I think that looks really good on the front screen. Might be a little bit over bright, but I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, that's what Superview is going to be used for. It is really good for Superview. Again, you can hold the camera quite close. You don't have to put too much effort into it. And you can see I've still got quite a lot of view either side of me. So if I've got two other people next to me or four people or whatever, then I don't have to really stretch my arm out so far to get them in. I can always rely on Superview just to get them in quite nice and easy. So that's what Superview is going to be used for. Holy mackerel, <laughs> we're now in the brand new Hyperview on the GoPro Hero 11 Black. Only on the GoPro Hero 11, which is quite mental, really. This is absolutely insane. This is where things are starting to get really, really wide and where, where you're going to use it for the nice POV shots as well. Again, head mount, uh, ch sorry, chest mount, head mount, <laughs> or wherever you use it. <laughs> and like for the car shots as well. Maybe if you're stuck in, uh, got a suction cup on the car, windscreen, front or back, you know, or side or whatever, or sticking it on the outside. Hyperview is going to be really cool to, to use that for as well. Anything POV sort of thing related is what you're going to be using it for, I would imagine as well. However, the downside is when you do use Hyperview, you can probably see on the edges, it's a bit warp sort of thing really you can see like a funny motion happening at the side of it that's kind of the uh, the way that I'd explain it so yeah it is quite a weird turn that front screen back on there and so yeah it is really weird to uh, I mean some people might get motion sickness from it I have seen on YouTube when people have done reviews on it that their friends get motion sickness from it you might do if you're that type of person Probably Hyperview is not going to really be the one for you to use. In. I think Hyperview looks really cool, from even from like a vlogging standard as well. I think Hyperview looks really cool, but obviously until you start moving that camera to the side, it's, it might look a bit a bit weird. But again, it's really cool to have. I mean, it is really cool to have. I, I've enjoyed using it for certain things, just you know, going out and taking photography and videography with just random stuff and faffing around with the camera. I think it's really cool. It is a thumbs up from me with it, really. But yeah, that's what really Hyperview is going to be used for as well. Even for, again, skiing, mountain biking is going to be really good. So the people that are out there that do mountain biking, I know someone personally who does mountain biking that might personally want to use this camera for it, you know, as uh, you get more of uh, the handlebars in and yourself in there as well. And if you can place it, however you place it with the chest mount or head mount, or even bike mount now that they've come out, you might be uh, quite handy for it. So yeah, that's what it's used for. So now I'm just going to sit on this bench and I'm going to show you all the, the field of views from, you know, just without having a subject like a person or a car or something on the main screen. So this is going to be like the trees and stuff. So this is linear plus horizon leveling. Looks the best, obviously, because it doesn't give it that fisheye effect. Now we've got linear without horizon leveling. Again, so if I start tilting that camera, you're going to see the motion and the uh, the angle start to change that's linear and now we're coming coming into you know the the wider angles this is wide this is gopro's standard lens that it comes with or when you set up your cameras this is what it is it's not in uh, the other two that the, the other wide angles it's just in wide really to be honest so again this is something that you might want to use when you're walking jogging or whatever it's be a good one to use and now we're really starting to get into the, the wider views that you can see. You probably you might be able to see a, a curve here on the tree and uh, the things like that. Looking for curves on, on things of, of like the, the shots and stuff of trees, benches, you know, walls and stuff. It's going to be looking like a fisheye lens, which obviously the Max Lens Mod cancel is out when you use it with Superview for a Max Lens Mod. So that's something to bear in mind there. But obviously, as the, uh, the tree gets more into the middle of the camera, you can see that it starts to straighten up again. And it starts to curve around more to the right hand side. So yeah, that's uh, that's super view. Again, mountain bikers are going to be loving this view, as well as snow like snowboarders, skiers, and bike riders and cars and stuff like that. Now we're in to hyper view. So again, this is where it's starting to get a little bit weird on the. the I mean, it, you can just see my hand or half my tattoo in it already, and I'm not even holding the camera that far away either. Just just past just before my knees, really. To be fair, so normal sitting level. To be honest. You can see that motion coming into the side of the screen there, looking a bit looking a bit weird. You can definitely notice it. However, if you're someone, again, like I said before, with motion sickness, this is not going to be the one for you. But you definitely do get a fisheye effect quite badly <laughs> with this, I think, though. <laughs> but never, nevertheless, it's still a good lens to use. 
for activities and stuff. So that is the lenses pretty much, that sums up the video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you did enjoy it, please make sure to give it a massive thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And if this has been helpful, or if you've been thinking about getting a Hero 11, but you wanna know a little bit more about the camera before you go and have the purchase, hopefully this video gives you a bit more of an insight, especially on trees and things that curve as well with that uh, fish eye looked in super view and hyper view. Hopefully you do get a bit more of a, a perspective and understand it, and hopefully it did help. Make sure to kill the notification bell as well so you don't miss when I go live with a post on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, these are action cameras. So obviously, you know, the fish eye I looked is definitely going to be coming into play with hyper view and super view, especially when you go up to subjects uh, quite close as well. So just bear that in mind as well. However, it is a good camera overall. Very good. I'll do a review uh, probably in a couple of days or so how I'm getting on with the Hero 11 and it'd be an honest review as well. So it's not going to be something that's just going to be completely lies just because I'm biased. But it will be honest. So yeah, hope you did enjoy. Make sure to th thumbs it up and subscribe and comment below what you think as well. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much and see you later.